Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an award-winning gospel artist who took a brief six-year hiatus. Guess what, but he's back with new music, a new mission, and of course, uh, of course, his same life-changing ministry. Please welcome Isaac Karee. Yes! Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Hi, everybody. Yes. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fabulously well. How are you? Good, good to see you. Good. How are you? Hey, 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 come on. I have no idea what just happened in my life just now. Don't worry about it. Hey, so good. What's going on, ladies? Yes. yes. Look at these white teeth. I don't know, they're pearly white. <laughs> right, absolutely. Oh, as you know, we at Sister Circle, we are Instagram trolls. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it is no different when it comes to you. Okay. And you posted uh, a video mm -hmm. and you said, this is how I'm coming into 2020. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm going in like this. Just ah. like this. <laughs> Tell us about what this means. <laughs> yes. Well, first of all, when I saw it, it just, it, it tickled me. Yeah. I was I was literally in tears <laughs> yes. crying. And I just, I, I feel like you just take life head on. Yeah. You know, no holes barred, just go for it. You know, whatever obstacles in your way, just go through Keep it. Keep going. And, you know, it was my way of making fun, but at the same time encouraging somebody. Yes. Uh, but it was it was hilarious. But um, that's what I'm doing. Yes. I'm back. Right, you are back <laughs> after Definitely. six years. Yeah. Oh, you took a six-year hiatus. Why? Um, what were you doing? It was a plethora of things. Okay, okay, so first of all, you know, music business has changed. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, just dramatically has changed. It's so different. And I, I need to step away to just kind of clear my head. But in the process, you know, God opened up some amazing doors for me. I was able to tour with uh, Puff and the oh, Bad Boy yes. Reunion Tour. Mm -hmm. I also went on tour with Tim McGraw and Faith Hill and did oh a country gosh. tour. Right, right, you right. You know, and somebody who's been doing gospel all of their career, when these mainstream doors opened for me, I was kind of like, how did that happen? Yeah. But uh, it was God ordained. And I think one of the things I took from it was God wanted me to see some things outside of my norm mm -hmm. so that when I come back and do what I do, yeah. uh, I have a broader perspective. I can bring more to the table. Mm -hmm. And I had the time of my life. Yes. So I have a new energy now, and I'm ready. Man, you've seen everything. Bad Boy, Tim McGraw. I mean, <laughs> right. that's great, right? That's fun. That's very fun. We'll put you on the CMAs. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Well, you have your new single, Her. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, your new album, No Risk, No Reward. Yeah. What can the fans expect from this album? Okay, so the album, I, I entitled the album, No Risk, No Reward. It'll be out later this year. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like people never will find out what the reward is if they're not willing to take a risk yeah. in life. That's true. Yes. You yes. know, we live life so safe, or we live life in fear. Mm. And I feel like, you know, it's a time and a place where if you want to see what the ultimate reward is, mm -hmm. you know, me being a believer, I believe, you know, I'm going to heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to live my life on earth so I can go to heaven. That's the ultimate reward for me. Yeah. You know, so I, I'm willing to take certain risk in life. And I want people to be encouraged and not play it safe. Yeah. You get one life, live the best life you have. And then this single that I released called Her, uh, I just wanted to write a that's song. That's a risk in itself. You it is. About, like uplifting your wife. Absolutely. Yes. And praising God at the same time. Yes. That is super yes. dope. Some people would look at that as a risk. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Why did you, why did you want to do this song for her? Well, it, it's important. She has been the foundation and the rock of my entire, you know, almost half of my life. I've been married right 15 now. years, yes. together 17 years. Come on. You know, and it's been rocky. Yes. You know, I'm, I didn't write the song because I've had this perfect marriage and I've done everything right. Uh, me and the guys got together and came up with this concept. Big shout out to Red Culture, uh, Black Elvis and everybody who helped me do this song. Mm, great but record. We, yes. We wanted to do something and I said, my wife is just, she's the foundation. And, I, I'm, and we live in a world where women do not get the respect the love, yes. the affection, the attention, the equal rights that they deserve. Yes. So for me, this is one of a few songs on this album that I'm dedicating to my wife and women as a whole. Yes. So mm -hmm. you're telling me we, they can't make the same money, we can't show them the respect, they can't get the same jobs and opportunities, oh. now we can't love them? No, right. I, I, I disagree. Yes. I disagree. Right. Yeah. It is a beautiful record. Thank you. Oh, such Thank a you. beautiful yes. record. Thank you. Thank you for that. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Man, I know she is just like, yes. Yes. Go D, yes. go D, go D. Yes. Awesome, awesome. But, but now you're on a mission to show people that you are more than just your music. Yes. So you have, um, you're doing something called Door 6? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's my so, company. Yeah, so tell us about that. Tell well, about Door 6 company. Entertainment is a company that God gave me uh, about almost eight, nine years ago now. 
Uh, the significance of door six, it was six major doors that I went through in my career oh. uh, that remind me and keep me rooted and grounded. Mm. That I, you know, when I get off kilter, when I get a little haughty or people elevate you, and you know how we get sometimes, especially as entertainers, it kind of keeps the foundation of who I am. So for me, I, I launched this company, and under this company have, has been my music. Yes. I did a conference called The Plug. Yeah, The Plug. So oh. my conference was to really encourage, inspire, and uplift young artists that don't know anything about the music. Especially, mm. you know, we, 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 we go to the studio and we want to sing, but we don't take the time to learn business. business. I've right. had friends and artists that have passed away that didn't have health insurance, mm -hmm. life insurance, tax issues. Oh, so I wanted to teach the things that didn't deal with music, right. but dealt with the business. The important right. part. So, yeah, the important yeah. part. Talent is easy. Yes. It's the business that's hard. Yes. Yes. My goodness. But honey, you've got both. Yes. And we're Thank so you. glad that you've come you. down to the circle today. Thank can you. we give it up for Isaac oh, Korea? Yeah. Thank you for yeah. having me. Right. You can stream his amazing new song, Her, right now on all digital platforms. And follow him at Ike Nice, because I already do, on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Find out when his new album, No Risk and No Reward, is dropping.